when i conduct this program i have an intention and i have a purpose about that it's not just bringing that child in front and showing all of you it's not just doing that it's not just just taking the child in the hands of mine and uh, praying for the child uh, that only is not the purpose of uh, purpose behind this program but also i used to uh, take this uh, time as an opportunity to share something towards the people you know this is a good opportunity for sharing about the duties and uh, the responsibilities of the parents to the congregation to the congregation amen so i take in that way and at the same time it's a blessing for you amen you know uh, baskar and divya had to wait for 9 years to get a child think about that baskar and divya they were praying earnestly and they were asking to the lord a oh lord we need a child but they had to wait for 9 years to get a child i don't know how many of you are there here sitting here waited uh, till that time you know 9 years or something you no know? maybe one year or two year that's it right okay but it's a great privilege that every one of you know one of our, one of my sister a praise sister uh, she they that family had to wait for 11 years for a child they prayed and prayed and prayed when at last they got it they got two children <laughs> so it's a blessing really it's a blessing you know remember you know when the people are praying in the presence of god for a blessing for a child when our god is able to do that and our god can bless that family okay so you know i just remember uh, when this family was coming and attending in our church maybe 3 uh, years ago when we came here uh, we could not see them here uh, on that sunday or on that month then after one month i think uh, i mean they they came to they they used to come here and they were attending in our church before also but regularly they are attending for 3 years last 3 years a great thing that uh, and that family is a great blessing for our elc and uh, god is blessing going to bless that family more and more in the coming days amen so may god bless you all and also you know uh, as as they are blessed by the uh, by, with a with a child now, of course they are thanking god for his blessings and uh, the church to thank god for blessings them blessing them with a child okay so they are thanking god for the blessing and the church also is thanking god for the blessings that god has given in their life and also it's a time to remind parents to raise children in god's ways it's a time to remind parents so i'm trying to remind every one of us every parent how to raise your children in god's ways and also it's really a good time for all parents to make a commitment to god and taking a decision that you will try your level best to be an example before your children and train them rooted in the word of god it's a great time for every parent to take a decision that you are going to be an example for your children and also you are going to i mean root them and you are going to place them according to the word of god and you are going to train them according to the word of god i'm not talking only to the baskar and uh, adivya but i'm talking to every parent of our church amen and it's a, it's a, it's a good time for all parents to make a commitment in the presence of god to to train your children you know as a pastor for me as a minister of the church of god as the minister of god given the authority and the I have been privileged to take the child and blessing the child and dedicating to the hands of God is a privilege. Amen. You know, th- this is really a great blessing that you are getting a child. And that is a gift of God. That's a gift of God. When you are blessed with a child and it's my privilege to take that child and bless that child and dedicate that child for the glory of the lord giving in the hands of god and we are dedicating that child for the glory of god men and also it's a time for a pastor after dedicate into the hand and hand over to them to the parents to raise the child in god's ways according to the god's word you know when i bless that child and when i as a pastor when i dedicate the child in the hands of god i will hand over the child to the parents and it's their duty 
and it's your duty to raise that child according to the word of god according to the word of god okay that child will be coming to the church when you are coming here okay they he she doesn't know anything about these things but you are supposed to train them and the parents are supposed to train them in god's word then that girl or that boy will be a blessing for the church and for the society in the coming days amen and also it's a time for parents to thank god or thank the church for our prayers and spiritual moral and support you know we supported them in the in the previous years you know we have been supporting them we have been praying for them we have been encouraging those family this family and this is the time for them to thank the church who prayed for them who supported them and who encouraged them in all the situations that they were going through the struggles and situations that uh, they were going through amen and also and as a token of love as a token of love the parents of baby would arrange a love feast for all of us and that is also going to be a wonderful time of refreshment amen so you believe that we believe that you have arranged everything for us and as a as a token of love we pray for you the church has prayed for you and you are arranging that it's on the way right it's on the way okay <laughs> no worries no worries it's on the way okay so we will i mean sit in the presence of god with a prayerful attitude and uh, listen the word and also i mean let us uh, let us uh, enjoy uh, the the blessings of god when we are sitting okay you know when we read uh, uh, matthew uh, chapter 19 verses 13 uh, through 15 i would like to read uh, matthew chapter 19 verses 13 to 15 then some children were brought to him so that he might lay his hands on them and pray and the disciples rebuked them but jesus said let the children come to me and do not hinder them from coming to me for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such those children so this is very clear that when the parents were bringing their children to jesus jesus took them laid his hands upon them and prayed and blessed men you know uh, this is what we usually do in every ceremony in everything that we are receiving from the lord not only when we are receiving a child but in every word in every situation we are doing that you know whatever god is giving us and whatever god is uh, 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 blessing us with a blessing or a gift we are bringing that blessing that gift in the hands of god and blessing that gift and also we are blessing the name of the lord for giving that blessing when and you know when we receive some blessing from the lord especially you know we used to uh, dedicate all those things for the glory of god we are dedicating a child and, and we used to dedicate the vehicle when we are getting a car or something and we in, uh, we are getting a house okay when a family is blessed with a family we are blessing that family and we are dedicating the family for the glory of the lord when and uh, you know uh, during the time of the wedding the couple is blessed by the pastor because that the you know pastor will i mean some of the pastors will i mean lay their hands upon them and they will bless them why why that family would be a great blessing for the church and all the other people those who are around him okay so we are praying and we are blessing uh, all those things and uh, all those people only because we believe that that is a blessing from god and that is the gift of god amen and also you know i have many things to uh, share with uh, uh, all the parents today about the responsibilities of uh, parents raising uh, your children you know there are many people uh, thinking that okay what is the need of that and uh, bringing a child uh, when you are getting a child bringing to the uh, to the church and the congregation and uh, you know some people don't like that to do that you know bringing the child into the church and uh, uh, a pastor uh, praying for that that person you know, some people are saying okay no that's not needed okay if you don't do no don't do okay no problem but if you do want to do you can do that because it's a blessing even when jesus was i mean who i mean doing his public ministry jesus was i mean letting the children to come forward to him right you know that's what we read here you know when some of the children were brought to him so that he might lay his hands on them and pray and the disciples rebuked them so listen very carefully when the disciples were rebuking those people those parents don't bring your children to, to jesus then jesus said no no let the children come to me 
do not hinder them from coming to me for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such these people children listen you know when these people these children are coming to the to 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 the church and when these children are coming uh, for a prayer we have to lay our hands upon them and pray the pray for them and bless them then that child will be a blessing for the church men that child will be used by the lord for the in the hands of god for the glory of god amen so that's it we are, that we are doing here men they are received they have received a child and they are bringing that child into the church and saying that okay this is the gift of god and we are going to pray for them at the same time at the same time you know there are many things that uh, we have to uh, talk about uh, the responsibilities of a parent but i am not going to uh, share all those points because we already studied all those things in the men's and women's meeting right how many of you were there hello <laughs> how many of you were there when we were teaching jason brother was time and teaching all those things for the uh, uh, for the men's and i was teaching uh, the duties of the and responsibilities of the parents uh, how to train the children uh, for the ladies okay for the for the sisters of our church men so that's the reason that i'm going not going to elaborately say all those things but i mean there are some important thing that we must know how to raise the children how to train up your children for the glory and the name of the lord i mean the first thing train your children in the way that he should go and where he is or when he is old he will not depart from it proverbs chapter i mean 22 verse 6 okay so we are supposed to train our children in the way that that child should go you know in the the word of god it is very clearly written which is the way that the child should go you know they may have some direction they may have some i mean ideas to i mean how to grow and how to do and what to do all those things let it be there parents remember one thing that you are supposed to train your children where he or she should go according to the word of god and also consider the salvation of the soul of that child consider the soul of that child that means in matthew chapter 16 verse 26 it says that and what do you benefit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul or what can a man give in exchange for his soul and uh, you know in, in that particular verse it is written when what are you getting what you can render unto the lord instead of your soul of the child you know when we consider when we consider the soul of a person the soul of a child when the parents parents when uh, just remember one thing that when you are supposed to give account in the presence of god about your children when parents can train them in that way you know you have to consider their soul you know most of the time the parents are uh, very much uh, uh, interested in uh, uh, giving good education right good education or good food le etra kaichillele pillare endiyum kai kida kai kida kai kida kai kida parnu nammal endiyum bhayankara nirbandhicha anga kalipikkum le so we are we are so concerned about giving the enough food and the best food for the children we are concerned about their education and we are concerned about their future their job but how many how many parents here are concerned about their salvation about their salvation how many of you are sharing with them with your children that oh mone mole i mean you have to be born again and how many of you are sharing with them and you have to take baptism i mean you have to i mean be submitted under the holy spirit and you have to be i mean leading a life which is acceptable in the sight of god so this is the right time to take a decision that you will be training up your children and you will be i mean raising your children into that way and sharing about sharing about salvation baptism and the holy spirit all those things share with them share with them whatever when I mean, as they grow up you have to share with them oh this is salvation and this is the born and again experience and this is baptism and you have to receive the power of the baptism the holy spirit and all those things this is your duty your responsibility the pastor should preach about that but you the parent is the responsible person to do that I men instead of going i mean doing the best food or best job or best uh, education give the word of god to those children that will be a beneficial thing for those children and make them aware about the importance of reading and meditating the bible and pray okay parents 
make them aware about reading bible how to read bible what is the need of meditating bible and what is the need of prayer encourage them for reading bible meditating bible and praying and also train them to be engaged in spiritual activities you know uh, somebody said like this idleness is an open door for satan idleness is an open door for satan that means satan if if uh, their heart is open if their heart is vacant then there are many chances that satan will put some other things the worldly things into the into their heart but it's our duty as a parent it's our duty to fill them with the spiritual food fill them with uh, some of the activities of spirituality you know the spiritual activities are there if they are engaged with the spiritual activities you know in our church there are many activities you know your children can be part, can participate in that okay actively they can participate in that programs okay and they can uh, get the word of god and they can be useful in the hands of god in different ways use them tell them that you are a spiritual person you are born in a in a christian family and you have some duties and you have some responsibilities tell them train them and telling them oh you have to be engaged in many spiritual activities of church and that's the way that you are grown up in the in the in the in the, in the christian family and again parents parents try to be a good example for your children try to be a good example for your children this is one of the important thing that you have to think about be an example be a role model before your children because they are looking unto you they are always watching you and you have to be very careful about them and about your life and you have to be an example in front of your children and lastly let me tell you one thing that moreover continually pray for them and bless them men so this is your duty every day every day maybe stretch your hands upon your children morning when they get up when they get up men when you prayer when you are praying you know you just stretch out your hands or i mean lay your hands upon them and bless them bless them bless them don't use any ugly words them I mean, every morning or hey da nee angana ingana ingana onnum parayalle atto i mean avare bless cheyidu prarthikana avare bless cheyidu prarthikanam avarku vendi prarthikumbam nammada vaayinu varunna vaakkukku sadhikanam endu va okay blessing prayer a irikanam le nammal ottri endana chela samayathukku namakku desham vannu kelumbam nammal endakke pillare vilikkunne le adu enikku ippo parayan aagathilla okay so don't use those words when when you speak to your children don't use those words i mean just bless them bless them bless them in the name of father bless them in the name of jesus and bless them in the name of the holy spirit and there will be a blessing for you and there will be a blessing for the church and the society i mean so that is going to happen in the coming days and i pray that i mean every every parent of a church will be i mean used by the lord to train up your children to to raise up your children in a in a godly way in a divine way so that they will be used by the lord in the coming days for the glory of the lord hallelujah so we are close our eyes in the eyes in the presence of god and just be a prayer to pray and uh, we are going to dedicate uh, our children in the uh, the child in the hands of god amen praise god and uh, during that time you know we are, we are just i mean uh, uh, praying but just before that i would request uh, uh, baskar and divya to come forward here and you are standing there and the, by that same time uh, jesse so jesse is going to sing uh, one chorus i mean maybe one song there is that um, oh lord my god okay uh, because you know it says that uh, the, uh, the, uh, the that that song says that you know um, what is that uh, oh lord my god how great is thy work right how great thou art how great thou art a god is a great god a god is a god of blessing I mean a god is a i mean god of giving blessings and gifts to the people so that's the reason that we are singing that song when I mean, everybody when I mean, close your eyes in the presence of god and sit there and sing with uh, dear sister jessy and we are going to sing that song and just remembering the mercy of god remembering the work of god towards every family in our church amen yes. Yeah.
together stretch out your hands upon this child and we are going to bless this child for the glory of the name of the lord hallelujah 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 gracious lord heavenly father we thank you for this beautiful day of uh, giving thanks unto the lord oh lord hallelujah father god we thank you for the blessings that you have given to us oh god especially lord we pray for i mean dear i mean uh, uh baskar and divya lord we thank you that uh, you bless them with this wonderful child of oh god father god this time lord once again we are committing this child in the hands of god and we are dedicating this child for the glory of god this morning hallelujah Hallelujah Father God we thank you for all the blessings of Lord hallelujah Father God we are submitting and dedicating this uh, wonderful child uh, I mean uh, uh, Zaira uh, Abigail uh, Zili for the name of the Lord in the coming days and uh, we believe that uh, you are going to bless her abundantly in the coming days oh Lord hallelujah when I mean, fill her with uh, the wisdom of oh Lord fill her with the grace of God fill her with the spirit of God and so that she will be a great blessing for this family and she will be a great blessing for the church and she will be a great blessing for the society in the coming days oh lord as she is growing oh lord we pray that uh, they ne- she need uh, the presence of god she need uh, i mean your presence of god she need uh, your strength of god hallelujah you wisdom of god hallelujah we are submitting this child in the hands of god and hereafter this child will be known as sarah abigail sealy Praise God and we thank you and once again our Lord in the name of Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. We bless this child and we dedicate this child for the name of the Lord in the coming days. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Father God we thank you for this day. We thank you for blessing this family. with a great and wonderful child of god father god we thank you for giving all the blessings upon this family in the previous days oh lord we are coming to your presence once again oh lord father god we understand everything that we receive from the lord is a gift of god and this morning we pray that you are going to bless this family and you are going to bless and help this family to raise this child in the in a, in a, in, a, in a godly way so lord hallelujah help them to i mean i mean give him give her wisdom oh lord i mean give him i mean give them wisdom to raise the child in a wonderful manner in a in a godly divine manner oh god in the coming days so lord hallelujah and you are going to bless this family in the name of father son and the holy spirit and they also will be used by the lord for the name of the lord in the coming days so lord we thank you for i mean this wonderful chance and with this wonderful i mean occasion to have thanks unto the lord for everything that they received the lord we bring everything in the mighty hand of god we thank you for hearing a prayer of god in jesus name we pray amen, amen. praise god amen so praise god and i believe that uh, the lord is going to bless them again in the coming days and especially the child will be a blessing for our church and the society in the coming days and let's all once again clap and put our hands together and praise the name of the lord for the blessing thank you master thank you master hallelujah praise god and now um this family and uh, are they are going to sing one song or they are going to share their testimony or they are going to share the word of thanks or something and uh, family or they are calling them oh okay Unfortunately, Bhaskar is not singing with me, so I have uh, Aksa and Priyanka with me. This is a song very close to my heart. I used to sing this uh, when I was pregnant. The words say it all. So I'm going to, uh, we are going to sing it in three different languages. So please bear with us.
I just wanted to give a small testimony. Um, you've heard all this before. Like we've we've prayed for this child, and the God has granted our wishes. Uh, she's she's really special. But more than that, I want to thank the whole church uh, who've been praying with us, who've been such a blessing for us since we moved here. And I'm thankful to each and every one of you. Uh, everybody knows our story. So for everyone who has helped us, even through the pregnancy, you know, all the churches gave me food. I didn't have to do anything. We didn't have a family here, but you were our family. You still are. You will always be our family here. And we are really, both me and Basque are really blessed to have each one of you um, throughout our journey and for being here. And uh, I praise God for that. There's a reason and there's a purpose um, uh, for us, you know, to be here at the right time with the right people. And uh, we are so thankful for that. And uh, when Pastor said, Sarah Abigail Seeley, the name never felt this good when he prayed for her. And uh, we pray to God to bring her um, and raise her uh, in the way of God and uh, so that she knows God. She walks with Christ and gives all her worries and everything to God. And uh, I know that everybody here is going to help us. And we have so much, so much to learn from all the parents here, all the children, such an inspiration. We see all the kids and we think, oh, we're going to, I mean, she's going to be like that. Oh, she's going to be like her, him. You know, uh, it's such an inspiration to see all the children here being so active and so prayerful and so humble. And, uh, and uh, we hope that, you know, uh, she'll also grow like that. And uh, thank you so much. And uh, there's so much to say, but I don't think I can go on. But praise God and... Thank you for your prayers again.